All right, welcome back to Blast the Process 2. I am your host, Kickass Pancakes. And with me here, I have Leandrum90, who is going to be running Jewel Master for the Sega Genesis Mega Drive. How you doing, Leandrum? Hello, everyone. I'm doing fine. Uh, I wish people enjoyed this game, uh, which I'm going to showcase here. And uh, can we start already, or...? Um, yeah, if you want to do an introduction to the game, feel free. If not, we can get started. Oh, sure. Uh, this is Joe Master. It's a 1991 game from uh, Sega Genesis. Uh, it's a quite nice game. Uh, it has a lot of speed attacks and, and stuff. I, I think I prefer to explain during the rounds then. So, can you do a okay. countdown? I sure will. All right, I'm gonna start at three, and I'm start the timer on go. Okay. All right. Three, two, one, go. Good luck to you. Thanks. So here's the first stage of Joe Master. Uh, here we have two kinds of power up, uh, where we can choose. Uh, uh, when we are defeating some bosses and stuff, we drop some rings with allows us to change or the power-ups we have like this one I will drop here speed up which will allow us to go faster which is interesting on a speed run here I will try to do some jumps and damage boots if things go wrong uh, I will have to go safer here and eh, okay I have to go really safe now uh, I think one or two hits I'm done here. So usually we try to jump uh, from them and get a, some kind of knock up to, to give, us a, give us a boost, but those kinds, uh, those enemies do a lot of damage sometimes and oh okay, <laughs> we, we could take another hit. I was afraid I would game over here. So until the, the end of stage is pretty safe now. I will get an upgrade here, uh, which will raise my maximum health to 3 points. And here's the first boss of the game. He's really easy. Uh, it's really easy to manipulate him on jumping and we hit him from below. Just uh, okay. It was low, uh, slower than intended, but it's still okay. We'll always try to keep a uh, speed up uh, as one of the the power ups we use because uh, we walk really slow with, without them. Only exceptions is when we will equip the blade. Oh sure, stage two. Here, blast processing took a day off, <laughs> day of vacation because we have to kill those enemies to rid the slag because it could, it can go really bad sometimes. Like we have a lot of enemies there. <laughs> okay. This screen is the biggest offender, and uh, I don't think that there is another instance of on this game in which we will face many lag as this screen. Yeah, uh, he only moves the lower part of his body, it's really weird, but it's fine I guess. Here we will... Okay. I wish it was faster, but it's okay. You we'll just damage boost our way until the boss here. In the end, uh, almost... Uh, when we'll here, uh, we'll get our... Oh, wrong. Okay, fight the ball is better. We get another upgrade to our health. It's the last one we'll get. I can have uh, 
at most uh, six points of health here in this game, but four is fine for running this game. We don't need more than that. I've picked this ring, but we we want to use him. It. So the screen is over, and we're about to face the boss on stage two. Those balls of fire give a lot of damage, so we'll try our best to avoid taking damage from them. Those birds not so much, so we can take damage from them. The name Joe Master resembles a puzzle. I think that there's a puzzle with this name. So here's the second boss. We have to pray for an RNG because... Oh, we got it right. The boss could uh, stay on the right or on the left, left side of the screen. On the right side we, I, we can damage them. Oh, this was weird. Uh, usually the music stops when we defeat them, and, but the music stayed for a lot longer than usual. Here I, I have to be a little careful because I'm low on HP. Here I get a HP increase. Should be fine. This screen we just uh, hold right and spam our fireballs. Here we have a mid boss, but we just avoid him. I wish I didn't took those damage. I'm really tight now on um, mm, those beasts. Those beasts is really annoying. Uh, the knock up when the knock back when we are hit by them is really uh, really annoying. But the worst is the worst is best now. Here we have another boss. But we have this quick kill on where we our hand is inside the hitbox of the boss and we kick we kill him quickly. Now my favorite soundtrack of the game, this stage. This game has, has a really amazing soundtrack in my opinion. And uh, this screen is quite short, and uh, we will face another boss here. It's really annoying to keep positioning, to hit it always when we, we want to, but okay. Now we have both a uh, what are uh, the those rings are based on four elements, uh, fire, uh, water, wind and earth. We have the... We just have one ring we left for the earth one. I'll get a health refill here, which will refill my health on three points. Um, full HP for this boss, which can be really annoying. This dragon's fire boss, I think it take a lot of the damage, as you could see. I hope. Okay. Okay, we are done now. Now we have the, the blade, we need to equip the rings from opposite elements to, to get them. And this boss is really hard if we don't equip the blade, but with them it's really easy. We need 2 or 3 hits to, to defeat it. And now it's the final stage, it's really long. But there are some enemies 
who can do a lot of damage so we as we took some damage I'll be a little careful here usually on a run I'll, I would go faster and take more risks but as we're in the marathon we don't have the reset button <laughs> so we need to go safer There was something I was planning to say, but oh, oh sure. Uh, on the final part of the game, the biggest, uh, our biggest worry is having to switch the rings in an optimal way, which I am not doing now. I should be equipped with double jump to skip a portion of the stage here. Music, this music is nice too, and I'll get a healthier feel here to go safer here. Oh, we can just go through to those things here keep a uh, high jump and double jump and okay in this stage we are meant to have some refights but we'll fight only the the phoenix like boss here But as you could see, the hardest boss in this game is the start menu where we have to swap uh, those power-ups. Now we have uh, uh, some statues from each element to fight. They are pretty easy to fight with the blade. If I stay here, I will take little to no damage. So there are four statues of hero I have to fight and the final boss. We are near the end of the game. Well, if you, any of you have not played this game casually, I would recommend. It's a great game from Sega Genesis. The run uh, has some nice speed strats so, uh, and things we you have to use to go faster. So it's a nice game to run too. It's a short game too, and so Okay, uh, it's a short game, so it's not that that. Uh, how could I explain? It's not a a game you you will be having to learn a lot of lots of things. You have five short stages, and this is the final boss. I think uh, better go safer here. I will use bear here to take less damage from the boss. I need to take re uh, be really careful about the the ball he spits here because he does a lot of damage. There's a way we can defeat this boss in two cycles, but I think we will need to three cycles to defeat it. Let's see. Okay, three cycles. Hey, what? what? Sorry. Okay, and uh, time will stop when the time. Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> I mean to say time stops when the screen is fully white. Sorry, pancakes. Uh, the I stopped, I stopped it a little early, but it was like a. Oh, 13, no problem. 1340 ish. And that's, a, that's probably an overstatement. There. I'll check it. My PB is 12, 12 minutes and 58 seconds. 
it's nice. Uh, this game volume is really high, so when you talk it, uh, I couldn't hear it properly. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. It's alright. Um, thank you for the amazing run. I mean, what a run! You blew through that. Oh, thanks. Uh, I hope uh, I hope people enjoyed the the run, the game. It's a very nice game to pick uh, casually. And the run, well, <laughs> uh, not many people have picked a game to run lately, so any new runner would be very welcome. <laughs> so I think this is it. Thanks everyone, thanks Pancakes, thanks everyone from Brazil Process for hosting uh, this event. Thanks. On Blast Process 2, we have Goblin 4. We're gonna send you over to some music. A special thank you to Windrum yet again. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Great run. Thanks okay, again. Anything else to say? Any, any more shout outs or anything before we send you away? Well, not actually. Uh... Sorry, I, I, I got caught. Uh, I wasn't expecting this question, but I don't think uh, any. But just thank uh, uh, take the marathon for allowing this run, and I hope people like it. Thank you again. We'll be right back with Gauntlet Four. Stick around, Thanks. everybody. Mm -hmm.